Trent. Firstly, have you spoken to Teddy and how is he after Origin Pass tonight? Yeah, he's, uh, he's good. He's, um, you know, he's taken some niggles into the game, so he, uh, um, but he's uh, pulled up quite well today. So um, we've got a couple of our staff that were with him, so they're not going to fly. They're going to fly to the Gold Coast and we'll meet him there tomorrow. Expecting him to play? Yeah, expecting him to play, yeah. Looking ahead throughout, it's a busy time for him. Are you likely to rest him a couple of games here and there? Yeah, at some point we will, later on, uh, once it accumulates a bit more. But, um, you know, that's... Uh, you know, as I said, expect them to sort of back up early and then we'll get to the point where uh, once their rest sort of doesn't kick in and they need to get a bit of time off from us, they will. Mm. Right, what about the other guys coming back from the bye? Have you noticed the sort of rejuvenation, freshness? Yeah, it's quite important. You know, other teams are doing 15 games where we have the first bye, so we had 12 games straight. Uh, so it was important to get some recovery. You get, uh, get some time off, get some freshness back in. Uh, and then you get get ready to go again. So um, it was a good rest for us last week, um, and we've had a really good week of prep. Mm. Um, Sam Walker was the guy you gave a rest to before yep. the bye as well. How, how much did he need that, considering how young he is? His first, first, uh, yeah, I felt like he did need it, and um, felt like uh, Lockie and Joey did a really good job in there to 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 fill that role. And that's the, been the beauty of having different guys play different positions. Um, but Sammy, yeah, it was allowed him basically to get over the ankle and the shoulder that he'd been carrying and, and get back to a full week's training that he did this week. Angus Crichton back as well, um, obviously wants to play well for you, but he'd love to get back in that blue side. Do you sense some um, sort of hunger from him to, to prove his worth to Freddie again? Yeah, I think disappointing that he had to miss last night. Um, you know, he would have played and, um, and that was, uh, you know, it showed how strong they were last night and it's a tough side to get into and... Um, all he can do is go out there and play the game that he's been playing all year for us. So, uh, yeah, look forward to getting him back on the paddock for us as well. At this time of the year, it's a sort of halfway through the comp. Do you, have you taken the bye week to, to evaluate the season so far and have a look at where you are, or is that something you do continuously? Yeah, yeah, it's not... Uh, you do, you get to, you get to take, a, I guess, a, a more of a bird's eye view once you have a few days off and you're not thinking about what happen in the last game and the game ahead you get the chance to do that but the continual assessments there uh, you understand that this is a really important time you know I really look forward to this this period of the season because it uh, it brings on different players and different positions and uh, really shows the medal of the club um, during this time so it's a yeah it's a great time to to play footy what have you learned from your time here about managing the team through this period well it's about sort of managing them into that um, but it's about, um, yeah, the, the, the different guys and understanding that guys that usually play 20 minutes end up playing 40 minutes or guys that sort of are usually 18th man end up playing, you know, starting positions. So um, really observing North Sydney during this time over the last month and, and who's standing up for them and who's ready to play. So, um, yeah, those, it's, uh, that's why I said it's a great time of year. Uh, just wondering if you can update on Sammy Barrels, how's he tracking he's coming back soon? Yeah, so he got cleared uh, for contact this week. Uh, so he started contact. He's got one more appointment next week to, to tick off with the specialist. Uh, and he's tracking well. It's been, uh, it's been good to get him back into some full training in the last couple of sessions. Yeah. And I've got to ask you if Suwali's going to be playing this week. Suwali's so playing yeah. this week, is he? <laughs> no, is he? He's in the 21. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did Danny tell you to ask that? Or, no? I no. <laughs> oh, I was joking. I was joking. Yeah. And I, I at least have to get asked it once yeah. a week. So. Yeah, I, thought he wasn't oh, I missed it last good, week. I did miss it last you week. Didn't yeah. Neither of you, I was going to say. Coming up against the Titans, I mean, pretty unpredictable side. It must be, you know, getting that freshness from the fly heading up to Queensland. Yeah, looking forward to getting away. Um, we enjoy our travel trips. Now after uh, last year and getting away together and uh, yeah, it's important we go up there, um, build our game right from the start and, and, and go, after, uh, go after the team in the way that we want to play. Um, they've got some variation in the way that, that they want to play and um, you know, they've recruited towards that. Uh, so we've, we've got to go up and do our job well. Yeah, he's, he's exactly, 
as you would expect. He's a, he's a man's man, he's a real leader of men. Um, he's really important in keeping the energy high. He loves bringing young guys in and developing them um, in, in a front row style or in the forwards. Um, yeah, and it's a credit to him. 250 games at, in the style that he plays in. Yeah, hats off to Jazz. Cool.